What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Box in the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. We're going to continue with the world's greatest light heavyweight championship series. Today, we're going to take a look at Paul Berlinbatch. Paul Berlinbatch took the title away from Mike Matigue in 1925. So let's take a look at his career. Paul Berlinbatch was born on February 18, 1901 in New York City, nationality German-American, and he weighed 170 pounds. Height was 5 foot 10 and a half inches. He was managed by Dan Hickey. Berlin Batch won a national AAU heavyweight championship in 1921 and turned professional in 1923, scoring 20 knockouts in his first 24 bouts. In his 27th fight, he won the world light heavyweight title by taking a 15-round decision from Mike Matigue at New York City on May 30th, 1925. Now, Mike Matigue earlier took the title away from Battling Siki, who took the title away from George Compartier. After successful defenses of his title against Jimmy Slattery, Jack Delaney, and Young Stribling, he lost his crown to Delaney on July 16, 1926 at Brooklyn, New York, dropping the decision in a 15-round bout. After retiring from boxing in 1928, Berlin Batch became a wrestler, but soon returned to boxing. He retired in 1933 to enter into business. Among others, he fought were Larry Etrus. He was a very good fighter, African-American fighter. Battling Siki, Tony Marlowe, Johnny Risco. They called him the Cleveland Baker Boy. And Mickey Walker. Mickey Walker was champion, welterweight as well as the middleweight division. Now, Paul Berlin backs his amateur record, 1922. He won a national amateur heavyweight championship of AAU knockout scores as amateur. Ben Butler in third round. Charles Masada. In the second round, Lou Ferguson, second round, Sam Singleston, second round, Joseph Pepperton, first round, Harry Fay in the first round. And this goes on and on and on. Very good fighters and amateur. He was knocked out in the second round by Freddie Cripps. Berlin Batch became a professional in 1923. October 4th, Jimmy Roberts. New York City killed him in one. November 29th, Charles Huffman, New York City killed him in one. December 2nd, a 13, I'm sorry, December 13th, Jerome Bird, New York City killed him in one. He had a record of 39, 8, 3, 33 KOs with one no contest. Years 4th, 1923, 1933. He won a light heavyweight championship. 1925 and held it to 1926. In 1924, January 2nd, KO Jaff, New York City killed him in seven rounds. January 10th, Bill Ryan, New York City killed him in one round. January 18th, Lou Chester, New York City killed him in two rounds. January 28th, Frank Carbo, New York City killed him in six rounds. February 15th, Pat Walsh, New York City killed him in one round. March 3rd, Jimmy Darcy, New York City, killed him in three rounds. March 14th, Jack Delaney. Jack Delaney would be champion. New York City killed him, or he was knocked out in four rounds. July 7th, Frank Carp Carpentier. New York City killed him in seven rounds. August 15th, Joe Kelly, Boston, Massachusetts, killed him in four rounds. October 1st, Johnny Gill, Jersey City, New Jersey, no decision, 10 rounds. December 5th, Tommy Burns, Detroit, Michigan, killed him in 5 rounds. December 26th, Larry Eldridge, New York City, killed him in 2 rounds. 1925, January 14th, Rocky Smith, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, killed him in 4 rounds. And this goes on, March 13th, Batsiki, that's Balansiki, New York City, Killed him in 10 rounds. May 30th, 
Mike McKeek, New York City, defeated him in 15 rounds and won the light heavyweight title. September 11th, Jimmy Slattery, New York City, killed him in 11 rounds. Very good fighter. October 12th, King Solomon, New York City, killed him in 9 rounds. December 11th, Jack Delaney, New York City, defeated him in 15 rounds, defended his title. 1926, March 19th, Johnny Risco, New York City, lost to him in 10 rounds. April 5th, Ray Newman, Hartford, Connecticut, defeated him in 10 rounds. June 10th, John Stribling, New York City, defeated him in 15 rounds. July 16th, Jack Delaney, Brooklyn, New York, lost in 15 rounds and lost a light heavyweight title. August 20th, Francis uh, Charles, New York City, defeated him in 10 rounds, title bound. 1927, January 28th, Mike Mateague, New York City, he was knocked out in four rounds. Now, Mike Mateague is the man that he took the title from. And Mike Mateague took the title away from Balenciki. December 9th, Jack Delaney, Chicago, Illinois. He was knocked out in six rounds. Couldn't get it right with Jack Delaney. Couldn't get it right with Mike Mateague. March 12th, Bay Farmer, New York City, killed in one round. May 22nd, Larry Estridge, New York City, killed him in seven rounds. On April 17th, 1929, the New York State Athletic Commission granted Building Batch a wrestling license. April uh, 22nd, Fred Grusso, these are all wrestlers. Nineteen thirty one, April first, Eddie Clark, Brooklyn, New York, killed in three. April thirteenth, Billy Henderson, Brooklyn, killed in one. So I can't judge him by his wrestling career. So gotta keep a note of that. He had thirty nine fights total. It looks like they're putting a part of his wrestling in there. Eight three thirty three with one no contest. So that's Paul Berlinbach. Light heavyweight champion. Took the title away from Mike Mateague. Lost to Jack Delaney. Let's take a quick